This is the 2018 SEMA show here in Las Vegas. I'm Kevin Oste at SEMA Central. And you know, the SEMA show is a place to not only see part manufacturers and retailers and media people, but also celebrities like our friend David Freiberger. <laughs> yeah, isn't that cool? <laughs> so weird. How about that, huh? Yeah, I can't believe it. I mean, remember when we were working together, what, a decade and a half ago? I did not see this coming, being able to just do TV and Velocity and Motor Trend and all this stuff. It's very strange to go from being in print to being on TV. It is, uh, but you do it very well. Thank you. Uh, we all enjoy watching, so uh, I think it was a, a great natural progression for you. For those of the viewers who are unaware, I do uh, Roadkill, Roadkill Garage, and Engine Masters on the Motor Trend channel, or MotorTrend.com. And uh, you do a lot of it. Yes, I do. I shoot almost every day. Yeah. I think I'm home like four or five days a month. Yeah, because Roadkill's a traveling show. It is. And uh, each episode, people ask all the time, how long does it take? We usually cram it into five days, which actually becomes sort of part of the character of the show, because that's why we have to hack things together to fix it. Because we're on a production deadline, we got to just get it done. Hence the zip ties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and I think it's uh, it's just the nature of the beast when people are watching on screen. They think you have unlimited time, unlimited resources, and unlimited magic. Yeah. But no, you got to use these and make it happen. We have whittled away the perception that we have mechanics standing off screen to work on everything for us. People don't ask that question anymore because yeah, yeah. it is me and Mike Finnegan and the car and the road. Yeah, and uh, Engine Masters, will you do some travel in there too? Uh, we shoot that in a week at a time. So I do 12 episodes a year, and that'll get shot in three weeks throughout the year. And each episode is one day at West Tech Performance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and what's the latest with, uh, with Velocity and Motor Trend? Well, the big news is, of course, Velocity is Motor Trend. The two companies are in a joint venture, Discovery owning Velocity and now also in a venture with us. And so everything that we do and everything that Velocity did is sort of all together in one family now. You can see it all on MotorTrendOnDemand.com and Velocity has been airing a lot of the shows that formerly we had on our YouTube channel. That's cool. It just completely crossed and now it's being shared both ways. Yeah. So what was the, uh, uh, the insight on using the Motor Trend brand as the flagship uh, uh, brand? Uh, it really came about because we put all of our shows on the Motor Trend channel YouTube when YouTube was paying us to make content seven years ago. So it just blew up the brand and instead of meaning like new car road tests, it came to mean Hot Rod Garage and Roadkill and Dirt Every Day. And also worldwide, it's the most recognized brand that the company owns. Mm. It's, you know, like we're big in Japan kind of thing. And it also, for people who are not familiar with the brand, it's not very specific. It's not like hot rod, which means something in someone's head. Motor Trend just sort of covers the entire world of automotive. And as a matter of fact, we have a new motorcycle show coming up. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. It doesn't have the word truck in it or anything specific like that. Exactly. Uh, it's funny because being a longtime Motor Trend reader, uh, you know, in my mind, I still think of the road test stuff, but even then, it encompassed almost everything also. It did, but definitely guys our age and background think of it as a new car road test yeah. magazine. But right. the problem is there's the magazine, there's the website, and oh, there's yeah. the YouTube channel, and there's the video on demand service. And then of course, we're all under the umbrella now. Hot Rod's a Motor Trend property. Doug yeah. Evans is rolling in his grave somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not his grave, he's, he's rolling in his hotel room. Yes, right. <laughs> yeah. So uh, where do you get the, the most satisfaction doing this stuff? What part do you like the best? The greatest thing is when either dads or kids come up to you and say, man, I got into cars, or you brought me back into cars, or I got a career in cars from watching your show. To be able to spark that enthusiasm and keep this industry going and see all these kids here at SEMA. I've seen a bunch of students, the scholarship students mm -hmm. and others from like, you know, you know, and all these other schools and they're into it. And some of them tell us it's because they got hooked on the show. Oh, I hear it all the time. Yeah. And I think there's like 1400 students here. Okay. So, yeah. A lot. All right. I've yeah. spoken to all of them. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or at least they've spoken at you. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I see it all the time. And it's funny because we think that there is a, or we, we maybe assume that there's a disconnect between the cars that you and I dig and we're used to, muscle cars, 70s, 80s stuff, and earlier. And I think a lot of uh, younger people really like that stuff. They just don't know how, you know, don't know how to go about it. We make it accessible with my motto, which is don't get it right, just get it running. If you can get your hands on any old car, it doesn't matter if it's a four-door, you don't need to paint it. I'm all parts 
you know, parts not paint, power not paint. Just get the thing on the road and drive it. And I think it relieves the burden of the peer pressure of the car having to be perfect to take to a cruise night. And it doesn't have to be fast to go to the drag strip. Just get that out there and use your car. Yeah, that's great because how many projects get stalled out because they're afraid of not being nice enough? I'll tell you an interesting thing that dawned on me recently. I also, in my personal life, I run a, a youth fundraiser car show in our little town. And I see dads dragging little kids through the car show and it's in July or it's in April it's hot and sunny out and the I've looked at the kids experience and I thought what are they getting out of this well a lot of them are looking at things that they don't identify with and their mom or dad are telling them don't touch that get away from that be careful and they're not moving and they're not moving there's no noise and sound and, and I thought is that really a great experience for them yeah. you know, it's far better to get them strapped into the seat and go take him for a ride or? I took my kid to uh, NHRA Winter Nationals and one year we stood in the suite, did the VIP thing and everything. We take him home, he's like, I don't like it. They don't look like cars and yeah, yeah. I'm not into it. Next year, I put him up at the top end in the grandstands. The first pair comes by, he gets it. Yeah. I mean, nitro, smoke, noise, everything. Yeah. Now he's in. That's cool, great job. Yeah. Well, that's really important as we know for many reasons, not just the, you know, the future of the business industry, but I think the future of getting the gratification of being able to work on stuff. In a lot of ways, you know, the, the mission to make every student a manager, you know, yeah. it's good for some, it's not good for all. It, it'll be interesting to see what happens with those kids' perspective as they grow up and get into the industry when you and I are just seeing the beginnings of things like an electric Copo Camaro. No kidding. You know, where's it gonna go? Yeah. Pretty crazy. Who knows? but I'll look to your show to learn how to cobble one together quickly and make it work. Uh, not my show, I'll, I will be dead by the <laughs> point why that's a, a thing. Well, that's a different show. Yeah. David, it's always a pleasure. Thank you so much you for too. joining us. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, one of the cool people of many to talk to here at SEMA 2018 at SEMA Central.